I was wondering, can I print with my Prusa Mini a whole Prusa i3 Mark III S? Can I do that? I'm going to make a little project out of it because I have done that before using various parts and make my first Prusa i3 Mark II. It's a, it was a clone. It's still a clone but you know i was thinking if i print with the prusa mini with prusa man Peggy, slice it with prusa slicer and using the original prusa parts can i still make a prusa i3 mark 3s well stay tuned because this is going to be amazing today in this video on the poor man's prusa i3 mark 3s i'm going to start with the base frame but that xz frame is bigger than the build volume of my prusa mini so i have to cut it into smaller pieces to make it fit on the build plate so that i can print it and then later on to glue it together there is a challenge but for that you need to keep watching shall we uh, get into the first part of this whole video series let's get started and uh, hey keep hydrated so, hey, let's do this. Well, to tackle the first issue, you cannot print very large or very big objects on a small 3D printer. You need to cut it. But I can already tell you something. When I was using Prusa Slicer, the XZ frame, it's the biggest part and that won't fit on my build plate. So I was thinking to cut it with Prusa Slicer into smaller parts that does fit on the print bed of the Prusa Mini. I use a cut that you better not to use. And later on, I found out that that was indeed the case. Because um, if you are going to glue the parts together, and this part is supported by glue. They hooked me up with some nice 3D glue where I could glue all the parts together. Because here in the Netherlands, glue is very hard to get. So a big shout out to the awesome people of 3D glue to send a care package because this is more than uh, enough that I need for a while.
So the frame itself, it's six millimeters thick, glued together with the glue. And as you can see, it is very wobbly. We don't want that. Uh, I also have posted this on X dot com Zagri underscore Bergen. Some already suggested that I should use stiffeners to stiffen up the whole frame. Of course, I already had the idea that this wasn't really <laughs> the best idea. So I need to make some stiffeners. So I went to Infusion 360 and I designed something that goes around the frame. Just here a little bit and then just there. So this is the design. This is just a, I think, 10 minute sprint, just to have a little idea that everything will fit very nicely. Because the last thing that I want is spending like two and a half hours printing one piece of 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters long, and then not fitting. Screw holes. Yeah, that is the thing. I don't have it on here because I want to keep it as simple and quickly as possible. But for the time being, this is, a, I think, a great solution. So let's see how it snaps on there or how I can, you know, test fit it. Well, I have put the part on the printer. And as you can see, it will keep holding onto the frame. So that means it is a nice fit. This is like mentioned, this is just a small test print to see before I'm going to spend like two and a half hour print for a hundred millimeter long part. Um, I'm going to print it in three parts or three pieces of it in total 30 centimeters or 300 millimeters and it will cover this whole section right over here and then another three pieces for this side and then the whole thing should be way stiffer. So this was the very first video of the poor man's Prusa i3 Mark III S 3D printer project. In this video we built the frame, but there is more to do. But that is going to be for future videos. Hey, if you want to keep watching these kind of videos, please uh, hey, hit the uh, subscribe button, check out the notifications, which kind of one that you want to have. If you don't want to miss out the latest videos, hey, set the bell on uh, all and you know, like this video, share this video on other social medias as well. If you want to support this channel also financially every single month, also that is possible, check out the YouTube channel member tiers or become a patron supporter. Thank you so much for being here. You are amazing and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Bye-bye.